For those of you who don't know us, I'm PH. And I am Ben. And we're the directors of the film Canary. So the film Canary is about a boy and a canary who forge a friendship in a coal mine at the turn of the century. As directors, we'd been uh, working together for quite a while and our dream was always to tell our own original stories. And we'd been kicking around an idea about uh, something happening in a mine, you know, uh, with Coal Mine Canary. And I woke up uh, one night at 3 a.m. in the morning and I had sort of this part, the structure of the story in my mind and I just wrote it out as quickly as I could and uh, I was quick to, to go, Ben, Ben, you got it, you know, what do you think about this? And uh, shortly after, Ben comes up with this beautiful sketch uh, of this little boy and his canary that just uh, was a great influence throughout production and uh, the style that you see on the screen. Houdini and Solaris were at the center of this project. Our team uh, has used the, uh, the softwares to um, do the feather, the grooming, the lighting, also some prototyping of rigging and some really nice effect shots. So we had obviously uh, the feathers on the canary, the hair and grooming on all the other characters, including the young boy, which we uh, really love as a result, very anime style. So uh, Martin Chartrain, who was taking care of this, had all the flexibility in the world, and this is what she really appreciated, all the way to creating some tools that were not there, but because she was in Houdini, she was able to develop those tools herself. And she pretty much succeeded at uh, obtaining uh, higher level of quality and, and, and fun shapes with uh, the canary character. Yeah, and a million and one feathers. <laughs> so one of the things that was great uh, in terms of lighting, so we have this really talented lighting artist and he's working in Houdini. Uh, he, which first of all gives them a sequence-based workflow where he manages to visualize all his shots at the same time as uh, you know these key images, these key frames per sequence. And when he's tweaking one, he manages to apply those tweaks throughout and it's really practical. On top of that, uh, whenever he was missing something like uh, visual effects, particles, uh, the guy could actually generate his own because he was already in Houdini. In our film, we knew that we wanted our character to cry. So we asked our rigger to create a tear rig that he was able to achieve using Houdini and uh, a procedural approach. It was a very powerful setup. Uh, because it managed to control the number of tiers, where they were positioned on the face and how they would follow the surface. And uh, because it was uh, pr procedural, the animators could modify it on the fly depending on their needs. So it was really a super powerful tool. It looked like VFX, but it was actually rigged. What we're proudest about, you know, with uh, Canary is that we managed to tell the story that we wanted to tell, uh, the way we, it was meant to be told. You know, in the end, I mean, there were obviously moments where it was in doubt that we, that things would come together as we were hoping it would, but it did, it did. And beyond that, uh, visually, it came together the way we, we hoped, you know, the style, the lighting, the way it's meant uh, to look. So we're so pleased, you know, with how it ended up and obviously, as we mentioned, like Houdini was at the center of, of this and getting us to be able to art direct and iterate efficiently. And um, so we're just really, really happy with the result. So we've got a few other ideas. We've had a lot of time to <laughs> think of other ideas and stuff. We've got longer format um, stories mostly that we'd like to tell. So. That's kind of the future for, uh, for Ben and PH, um, is to cross our fingers and, and, and go for, we're hoping to make uh, a feature. <laughs>